A hunting craft store are teaming up to provide therapy in a new and exciting way. Instead of the traditional talk therapy, they're using art. News 13's Tess Rowland shows us the artistic process and tells us how the art created serves a bigger purpose than being hung on the wall. So just very light strokes, very little paint, back and forth. Life can often be compared to a blank canvas. And with the stroke of a brush, oh, so cute. local creative studio Board and Brush is hoping to give area domestic violence and sexual assault survivors the artistic toolkit to create more than just a masterpiece, but a path to healing. Bring some joy and peace and maybe even some hope to a lot of these young people. The Gulf Coast Children's Advocacy Center serves trauma clients of all ages, but the center sees as many as 200 children a week. Volunteer coordinator Shannon Rodriguez says art therapy provides another outlet for survivors. It gets them outside of the traditional single therapy and it gets them into a group setting to where they feel and get to see that they're not alone. The program has been in existence for two years and it's been a lifeline for one domestic violence survivor and her children. For her protection, we're not showing her face or giving her name. It's just quiet and peaceful and happy. Everybody is kind. There's no judgment. For this survivor, her vision goes beyond an artistic one. She hopes to inspire others suffering to seek help. It's okay to tell. <laughs> it's okay. In Bay County, Tess Rowland, News 13, Panhandle Strong. In addition to art therapy, Gulf Coast Children's Advocacy Center also provides equine therapy. To learn more about their services, just head to our website, mypanhandle.com. And if you're having a birthday.